A very special thank you to Diamond Select Toys for sending this figure over for me to review. I really appreciate your support. It's been a great experience. Welcome back to Figure Depot. Today we're taking a look at the Uncharted Nathan Drake action figure. This is from Diamond Select Toys. You can go to www.diamondselecttoys.com and uh, also check out their Instagram, Collect DST is their handle. Awesome looking figure. Tom Holland is the actor that portrays the character. It's a great movie, uh, lots of fun. Kind of, kind of a modern Indiana Jones, I guess and uh really enjoyed watching it so i would check it out if all i would you uh little windows on the side window box package with top side and front windows and then of course we get the bio on the back and uh just a real nice presentation here a nice flat matte finish no spot varnishing or anything that on there that i can tell i don't think uncharted spot varnished no it's all flat but a really good looking package here is the barcode should you desire it so clamshell figure then we've got this little booklet here on the two crosses, when you put them together, you can unlock the secrets to the universe. We have his gripping hands, which I think could have been replaced with fist hands to give this a little bit more versatile of a selection. His weapon holding hands could also kind of double for relaxed hands, and then you could have had fist hands actually on the figure. He does have a pistol, of course, so he needs those weapon holding hands. But I think fist hands would have been a, a nice addition to this set. And could have been done in lieu of the uh, relaxed hands. But they all look great. Really nice uh, looking set of hands. Well painted, but we'll get a closer look at all that here in a second. Oh, would you look at this. Really nice looking figure. Cool design. The wash on the shirt is really great. And... Uh, the pants as well. Sculpt work is really good. Fantastic job, Diamond Select. And just a great looking figure all the way around. The leather bits look really cool. They got a nice uh, gloss to them to really make them stand out as leather. Face sculpt is really good. That's definitely Tom Holland. Yeah, that's Tom Holland all day. Man, this is a great looking figure. His little necklace there. All the little attention to detail is really good. Uh, they've got the pistol strapped in there with some little clear stretchy band which makes me nervous i hope this doesn't fall out easy we'll see once we i'm gonna take it off and we'll just kind of see if it hangs in there or if it's just kind of flopping around but yeah beautiful looking figure for sure all right so the figure is painted after it's assembled in part part of it's painted beforehand but then i think they've gone and done another coat over it once it's painted this is designed to have a real nice tight bend, but there's so much paint in the pins that it's really gummed up and I put heat on it for several minutes and it took a long time to get those joints freed up and moving. So just be careful. Don't try to, to force it right out of the package or you might snap a limb. Um, the, there's ball pegs that attach the biceps to the deltoids. So those pop on and off nice and easy, but you can break that peg if you force it. The shoulders are extremely tight, so you're gonna wanna put a lot of heat on those. Uh, for the accessories, we'll get a closer look. Here is Magellan's Voyage. Really nice looking book there, that looks great. Of course, it doesn't open, it's just a molded, molded piece, but really, really well done. The cover is really nice. The back is just a solid red, nothing on the back there. Um, but the paint's really nice. It's a deep red with some kind of orange in there. And man, that looks really good. 
Then we also have our alternate hands. So you've got a left and right weapon holding hand. Paint on those is really nice. Sculpt work is really nice. You also have your gripping hands for holding the cross pieces. So paint work on there is really good. It's a real nice flesh tone, not too light. It's nice and rich. So then we have the cross with the blue bits here. Very nice. Well done. And then we have the red ones. And in the film, you had to put those together, spoiler warning, to uh, unlock something. So well, if you haven't seen the movie, I won't spoil that for you, but just a fun movie. And really nice figure here. Uh, we'll do the articulation rundown. I'm gonna go put some heat on his shoulders one more time real quick so I can get them moving good. All right, for the articulation, head is on a ball peg, so he can look up really nice and high. That's good. He can look down really well. He can, of course, rotate 360, and you get some head tilt out of that, so that's good. These are the ball pegs I was telling you about on the arm, so those just snap on and off. Now, you can get a proper T pose when this is good and all, but, well, actually, not quite. So, almost a T, but, you know, it's close enough, I suppose. Uh, you can see paint down in the sockets, too, so uh, that's part of what gums these up and makes them tight. Ball peg. So, yeah, rotate 360. Uh, we do get, I showed you the, the range here. It's really hard to force, but you can get a good tight bend there. And then um, when you swivel and hinge the wrists, they of course have a lot of good range. So nothing wrong with that. Ball peg here. So you get a lot of good left to right front to back when you get the head and the torso peg he can look almost straight down and he can look almost straight up so with those two combined so really nice there we do get a waist swivel mine's real tight uh, but it does rotate 360 kick is not stellar because the cut here you can see how it instead of being a nice round it kind of dips right here so not a great forward kick he does have a thigh cut here he does have double jointed knees they only get you to there the cut here at the back is not very high top and bottom so um, that's about all you get we do get a good range there with the uh, toes though I mean the ankles so good range out of that and all the pivot you could want so with your split joker can get down all right so really good articulation range all right real quick i wanted to look at this watch it looks really good nice attention to detail there and then i wanted to look under here uh at his pistol so the holster is loose on the back but it is glued up here so uh, if you were wanting to take it off not going to be able to unless you cut that but uh, let's peel the little the little plasticky bits here let's see let's peel this little guy off from around the pistol and see if the pistol will stay. Man, they got that thing on there. Good grief. Time off it. There we go. Alright. <laughs> well, that's a bit warped, isn't it? Alright. The holster is good and spongy, so it probably is going to hold the pistol. I'm going to go put some heat on this poor little thing and try to straighten it back out. All right, the pistol is a bit warped because of how it was in the package. 
but a uh, little heat straighten it back out pretty good uh, detail on it's real nice we got some brown paint on the handle there on the pistol grip and yeah looks good you got the little etching on the slide there and yeah overall a really good looking gun just a little warped out of the package but easily fixed with applying a little heat to it and there is the pistol in the hand and here he is in a nice dynamic pose got his pistol extended and his book in hand so uh, really good stuff here nice dynamic posability and again that wash looks really good uh, great accessory set this is a fantastic figure let's go ahead and look at some size comparisons and see how he stacks up against other figures all right so we're looking here at the john wick also from diamond select toys and then we are looking at uh, sam from the sam and twitch set so yeah you can tell this is supposed to be a shorter character he's a fully grown adult male and then he's like you know early 20s you know we think of him as a teenager because spider-man but you know for their height i think that's a really good scale because you know he's not a taller person per se so fits really well in scale with seven inch figures for sure all right here he is with a six inch batman and alfred from mattel you can see uh, he's a bit taller than they are, so obviously not in scale, but he could, you know, conceivably just be a tall person in the six inch scale if you wanted to use him as just like a generic person in a crowd shot or whatever. All right, here he is with a Marvel Legends movie Venom and a Nick Cage, which is kind of on the medium to taller end of Marvel Legends. And again, you can see he's just not in that scale. And for some Marvel Select figure comparisons, here he is with Sabretooth and the Immortal Hulk. Not to be confused with the Immortal Hulk Hogan. Oh yeah, brother. Because that is the Hulk Hogan I'm talking about, brother. Oh yeah. So, we have Storm Collectibles, Hulk Hogan, and then we have Mattel's attempt at a premium Hulk Hogan. So... They are both taller than him, so he could be an average person in their universe. Final thoughts, I really like this figure. I like the design, I like the execution. The only frustrations are the joints being so gummed up with paint that you can't really do much with them until you get a lot of heat on them. And even then I'm still having some challenges. The shoulders are still extremely tight and the elbows are still giving me a little trouble but i'll keep working on them but overall just a beautiful figure well sculpted well designed and a lot of fun very versatile figure works great across a broad spectrum of toy lines and just a great addition to your collection be sure and check me out on instagram figure depot and subscribe to my channel please if you are enjoying my content that really helps me out a lot. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the figure, if it's one you're planning on picking up or not. And I will see you next time.